brand new in the box, we have the ATN Excite 2 HD 3 to 14 power. Taking a look, comes in this nice OD green pouch. Should you decide to keep it off the gun, set that to the side, we'll get to that. For what you want to see is the scope itself. So immediately what I noticed is how solid the scope felt. It's got a real nice uh, durable feel to the finish and uh, it's got some decent weight to it which is to be expected and it really just feels like uh, you know it's built pretty solid so far. Also included was this front cap and after doing a little research I believe this is included because the generation one what guys were doing was buying Butler Creek caps and then drilling a hole like this. And what this is actually going to do is help your uh, night vision, the image, be a lot sharper both day and night. Um, something to do with the, you know, the physics of how the lens uh, uh, works. When you're looking through an aperture on this kind of system, it's going to make the image a lot sharper and more focused. You have your typical, you know, instructions. This one's pretty straightforward and to the point various warranty and uh, other advertisement information. Nice microfiber cleaning cloth. Allen wrench. And it does come with a stock illuminator, which is focusable. The mount this comes on is pretty cool because it does allow the, uh, the illuminator to swivel a little bit so you can adjust, um, you know, where that beam goes to suit your needs. The switch on this is a simple on and off. One thing I wanted to point out is that batteries were included for the illuminator, which is nice because these are a little bit more rare and expensive, but the four double A's needed for the site itself were not included. So to zero, you go onto the menu to your profile and zeros. You can go to your current and then you can go ahead and hit zero reticle or you can create a new one. But just for the sake of showing you guys, I will show you like a, if I wanted to zero it. So you see on the bottom left of the target, I have what would be a three shot group. So all you would do is you hold the, uh, the reticle on the bullseye and it is as simple as just moving a cursor. So as long as the rifle is nice and steady, and I do know it's not perfectly centered on the bullseyes, and I apologize for you OCD guys out there, but uh, it's just rested on the countertop. That's where it happens to be pointing. So all you would want to do is move that cursor while the rifle is nice and still. So if you're on a bench rest at the range, or you can just try to hold it the best you can. I would probably put it right there, perfectly averaged in the center of my group, and then you hit OK. You could either save the changes or discard the changes, and you are done, you are zeroed, and that's all there is to it. That's why they claim you could zero this scope in one shot, so if you were confident in your shot. Also, you want to take note and record somewhere the coordinates that are located in that red box at the top of the screen, because should the scope fail or the memory get wiped somehow, all you got to do is change your zero back to those coordinates and as long as your scope hasn't shifted on the rifle, you should be hitting bullseyes again. Alright, so here is a look with the stock illuminator. Right here we got a hose at 50 yards and right there is a gate at 100 yards. And this is on high, and it is a fairly focused beam. Look, this is an aftermarket illuminator. This is actually only $40. I got it because the batteries are 18650s and they're rechargeable, which is a nice touch because the stock illuminator that has the two CR123 batteries only has about a two hour run time with, uh, with it on high. So right here, I'm actually at a 250 yards away. There is no moon or stars out whatsoever. I move a little bit closer and close the gap to about 120 yards for this next shot. And again, there's still no moon or stars. And I can see everything. And this 
The recording really does not do this justice. It looks a lot better when looking through the scope. But you'll notice when I zoom in, it is a digital zoom, so things do get very blurry and pixelated. However, it's still good enough to pull off a shot. And this is again at that 120 yard distance. I'm still observing a group of pigs. So although it still looks a little grainy and pixelated during the day, it is definitely a lot sharper during the daytime. And I do want to point out that when exporting and saving a video, you lose a lot of the video resolution. So in person, it does look a lot sharper than when you export it and when you guys view these videos. show you guys what the menu looks like. So you hit the top center button uh, that says enter in the scope and the menu immediately pops up. So you have your settings and that lets you change a whole lot of things. So you have your night vision settings, your photo and videos that you can format, different display settings, your profiles and zeros that you may have stored. You can have multiple and then any additional settings such as your units and setting what kind of firmware you have or the device itself that you're using since ATN offers a variety. So right now the scope is sitting on my countertop. It's hooked up to the charger. That's all that wire is. It's not connected to my phone whatsoever. And you can see that it's actually hooked up to my phone uh, via a wireless, uh, basically it sets up Wi-Fi and I can actually zoom in and adjust that from the phone and just to show you this is real time guys I'm gonna just slightly move the scope and there it is moving it back and there you go so that's a really cool feature you can stream it to uh, you know any kind of phone that has Wi-Fi or Bluetooth uh, near the scope so let's say you're hunting with a buddy and it's nighttime and they can't see anything and you're in night vision mode you can show your friends what you are seeing out in the field However, you cannot record what's going on in the scope while streaming. That is the huge downfall. So if you are trying to record your hunt, you may not want to be streaming with your buddy. So also from the, uh, the mobile app, just showing you, you can go to all the settings from your phone. If you'd rather mess with it there. You can uh, mess with the, the environment that you're in to help with your ballistic calculations. You can change your profile, so if you have multiple zeros saved, you can change your reticle style and color all from your phone as well. Viewfinder that I already showed you and then you can access the gallery of all the videos or photos that may be stored. Going over in the menu you have basically all the features you can enable including Wi-Fi. Right now Wi-Fi is turned on. If you click it again it puts a slash through it and then that's how you know it is off. You have your recoil activated video, so basically whenever the scope detects any kind of recoil, it'll start recording, and you can even set it to uh, save any video that went through the scope uh, a number of seconds prior to the recoil being felt, so you don't miss the beginning of your hunt. It has the ballistic calculator, GPS, and then back to Wi-Fi. You can enter in environmental data. You can do a distance entry which allows the ballistic calculator to do its job for you. Then there's also a range finder function. Now it's not a true range finder, and I apologize, part of the, uh, the text is cut off on the screen that you guys are viewing, but it says place the arrow over your target and press OK. So what you would do, if this was the top of our target, you would just hit OK there, and then it says place an arrow under your target, so if this was the bottom of my target, place it there, and then you'll see in that top left, based on how far apart those two lines are, the scope does have a calculator. It can detect when things are tilting, like uh, your cell phone does. It's simple technology now. It will detect the angle that you just measured and give you a rough estimate of how far away the object is. Next after range finder is when you just click real fast for your nighttime mode. Obviously it is extremely bright in my room that I'm filming right now, so I'll go ahead and close out of that. It focus again and then it brings you back to the settings so 
that's a real brief overview. I don't want to get super into the details because it would be way too long of a video, but wanted to give you guys an idea of what to expect. If you look at the top left of the screen, you'll see that 1,502 feet have been entered. Now, I know that seems like a weird amount, but that's the closest I could get to 500 yards as it is in three feet increments. So what you do to enter uh, into the ballistic calculator mode is you go ahead and go to the menu, you scroll over to the, basically what I call the features bar, and right now the ballistic calculator is crossed out. You go ahead and just click it, exit the menu, and now you'll notice in the bottom left hand of the screen you have 48 inches up, so the reticle is already calculating that 1,502 feet. Now, disclaimer. This is only going to work as well as the information you've put in it. For, so for the velocity, your muzzle velocity, the weather and environmental conditions, and even your drag coefficients of the bullet. However, it is a very cool feature. It has been working well for me, and I've seen other people on the internet using it without issue. Okay, so now I really want to talk about the thing that I've learned is the biggest pain about this optic, and that is the battery life. So this is what was included, and you can see that is that's terrible in my opinion. So uh, when it's talking about Wi-Fi on or Wi-Fi off, that's talking about where you can connect to your phone and you can stream a live image to you know if you have a buddy that's hunting with you or you want to show someone else that what's going on. Um, that that's what that's for. So. Like I said, that's terrible. And uh, it, it, if you want to buy their ATN battery pack, that's an external battery pack that is uh, $100. So that wasn't an option I wanted to go with after already investing a lot of money. But let me show you a cheap solution I did come up with. So I know it's ugly. I know it looks bad. And I am not a fan of doing tacky stuff like uh, this to guns. However, this is my temporary solution for now. We have an external wire because you do have the uh, port for that to feed external power. And then on the other side, what I got is a simple one of those power cells for like charging your cell phones. And this is a 4000 mAh um, power cell and it was charged once and it lasted me a good uh, three and a half hours of constant use so far without having to be recharged. And it, it works. And moving forward, this is the uh, aftermarket illuminator that I had mentioned. Um, I got this for $40 off of Amazon, and it's a brand called uh, Evolve, I believe. And uh, it worked great. I could see, um, I'll leave a, a link in the description below if you're interested. Um, I could see easily four to 500 yards away. And this is on a night with no moon or stars out whatsoever, and it worked awesome. All right, guys, well, that's pretty much it for my setup of the ATN X Site. Too. And if you have any questions, please feel free to drop them in the comments below and I would be happy to help answer those as best I can. And as always, thanks for watching this video and have a good one.